This question deals with form controls. Now we're going to be using the older form of the word control, sometimes referred to as the legacy controls. Legacy meaning sort of older. Um, and you'll find them on the developer tab. Now quite frequently the developer tab doesn't show at the top. If that doesn't, what you need to do is to go to file and go to help. Um, and nothing helps there, no sorry. Uh, go to options and go to customize ribbon and make sure the developer tab is ticked and you just click OK from there. Okay, Once that's up and you found the right place pretty much everything falls into place after that. Right, so these are some electronic controls like drop down lists and text form fields and a checkbox, things that we used to from filling in forms on the internet in particular. Right, they want all these controls to be lined up at 8 centimeters. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to set a tab so long. Uh, and I've noticed that I've highlighted all three lines so that they all get the same tab setting. 8 centimeters, and I'm just going to make it a left tab so that when I put those controls in, I can just, and there you can see my tab setting up there at the top of my screen there. And what I'm going to do then is press tab, and then I'm going to say, right that's where that particular control will go and the first one is a text form field so I go to developer and I go to not design mode no that's not where I want to be I go to controls and under controls here you'll see legacy tools okay legacy tools or legacy controls and the one that I'm looking for is a text box one. So the three that we're looking for in fact are normally the first three up here on the legacy forms. Not the ActiveX ones please. Okay, not the ActiveX ones, the legacy ones. So there's the text form field. I'm going to put that in so long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the controls in. I've kind of sort of read ahead which is a little bit naughty of me. But I'm going to put them in scene while I, yeah, and then we can just go and do go back to each question individually. Sorry. Okay, they want a drop-down control form field there, that's fine. Looks exactly the same to me, but maybe there is a difference. And over here they want a checkbox, please not down here at ActiveX, but the checkbox control. And there we go there, that clearly looks a bit different. Okay, for the first one, for the name, it must accept a maximum. Basically now you right-click and you go to properties and you look at the different properties and there's all sorts you can have default text you can specify what format it must be in at the moment it's unlimited they want it to be 25 okay and you can even go and add help text as well so in other words when the person puts their cursor on on the form field then some text will appear they didn't ask us in this case but this is where you would fill it in over here to add the help text but all they wanted us to do was to say can't enter more than 25 characters on in that particular field. Right, the next one, oh, and all text been shown in title case. Okay, remember? Okay, with all text been shown in title case. All right, I'm not listening to what I'm preaching and saying. Just always read the question carefully for the second part. Sometimes it's snuck in there and it's been title case text format. No, did they say, t did they say title? Let's go and have a look back at that question. Uh, Shown in title case. Okay, let's gonna have a look. Uh, oops, a daisy. Um, properties. There we go. Properties and regular text. Regular text. That's kind of where I want to be. Text format. That kind of sounds where I should be. Hey, huh? oh, there was title case all along. So let me. Right. Second one, a drop down field for the title with the options of Ms. 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 and Doctor and Professor. Okay, basically, let's have a look at properties. Anything there? Drop down item. Yes, I want to add some drop down items. So it's Mr. Okay, I want to add and Ms. And I want to add that as well. And later on you can see you can move them around if you want to. If you're not happy with the order, you can even remove items as well. And doctor, DR for doctor. I'm going to add, and the last item that I must add is for prof. So that the person would be able to choose from those options. Add, 
and okay a checkbox for willing to be a presenter with the default value okay we've got the checkbox and default value is set to be ticked okay that looks suspiciously unticked at the moment so let's have a look at what we can do with that properties checked okay and again you could add help as well to any other controls if you've asked and that's it for form controls. Okay, most important though is that if you haven't got your developer tab, just go to your file menu and tick it. So make sure that it does appear and that we're dealing with the legacy controls. And essentially it's those three at the top that we do the text form field, um, the checkbox and the list box.